Hey everyone, thought I'd do a video today and today I am going to be doing an unboxing and um, it's kind of crazy because I actually bought quite a few books two days ago. Now I have my box of books here that I got from Amazon. So let's just get right into it. So scissors, gotta open this. I have nine books here. I got all of them at bargain price. I'll tell you which ones cost how much and everything. So I'll just randomly grab some books here and show you which ones I got. Alright, so the first book I got was um, Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen. And this is actually the first book I've actually seen that is somewhat damaged from uh, Amazon, which I'm not really happy about. I don't really like my books to be damaged when I first get them and everything. You can sort of see that fold right there, that little line, that's actually a fold. There's a little bit of a scratch right here, which is fairly deep, but I, I guess it's not too bad considering I got it at a pretty cheap price. I got Pride and Prejudice for $2.72, which is a pretty good price, and I've actually never read Pride and Prejudice before, so I thought, well, it's at a pretty good price, it's a really nice cover, and I thought I would just go for it. I've actually, since I never read it before, I don't know what it's about. It didn't say anything on Amazon about what it was about. Uh, so I'm actually sort of um, happy that I got this, and I'm just really looking forward to reading it. So the next book that I got is So Yesterday by Scott Westerfeld. And I've read Scott Westerfeld's books before. Um, I haven't read the Ugly series. I'm actually really looking forward to reading the Ugly series. The, what I've actually read by him is um, Peeps in the Last Days, and it was a really good series. I really liked his writing, so I thought I'd try one of his um, um, books that aren't in a series. Um, it actually sounds really good. It's um, What I've read is it's about... Um, trendsetters and like maybe it's like a hat worn backwards or something um there are people that are like in a sort of job place where um each and every one of them is a trendsetter and it's their job to set a trend and um in this book the boss of the trendsetters goes missing so i guess they're just trying to find um where he went or something um i haven't read too much into it but um i know that's around the um the guidelines of this book. So yesterday is three dollars and sixteen cents. The next book is called Love is Hell and this is by quite a few um, authors. It's by Melissa Marr, Scott Westerfeld, Just Justine Larbalestier, Gabrielle Zevin, Lori Faria Stolars, and I think there's more. Can you guys see that? really really I can't understand how people could treat books like that I, I don't know it might have been an accident or something but anyways this is a book about well obviously love um, different love stories by different people the reason why I got this is because of Scott Westerfeld and Melissa Marr because those are two of some of my favorite authors um, since Scott Westerfeld, he wrote the Peeps series. It, it was really, really good. And also Melissa Marr, she, she actually um, wrote the Wicked Lovely series. There's five books in the series. I only read the first three, but it's a really, really good series. I am actually sort of don't even want to finish the series because it's so good. And also um, it was the first fairy, fairy series about fairies and everything. Um, that that I read and uh, like I've actually found a few other um, books about fairies series about fairies but I really don't want to finish it because it's so so good and it's such a amazing world that she created so uh, I sort of um, want to like uh, wait a little bit and just slowly slowly read it so that's part of the reason why I bought this book is because of Scott Westerfeld and Melissa Marr because they're absolutely amazing writers so there is five stories on here for the five authors one from each of the five authors on this book cover so not only is Melissa Marr and Scott Westerfeld have a short story in here but I can find other authors and maybe I'll like them. Love is Hell is three dollars 
and Six Cents. The next book I have here is called The Poison Eaters and Other Stories by Holly Black, and um, I actually think this goes with a series, I'm not sure. So it's basically about um, different, I think, girls that are like um, just lethal in a way, and um, there's like short little stories like it says but, and other stories. <clears throat> but anyways, it, it looks like a really good book and I'm really excited to read this and um, I actually never read Holly Black before so um, that's a new author to be excited about. Um, it just looks really good. Poison Eaters is $4.41. So the next book I have is called Teeth vampire tales and this is actually another one of those books that have quite a few different authors um one of them is cassandra clare oh holly black wrote in this one too there's neil gaiman i think that's how you pronounce it and melissa marr my one of my favorite authors um, but what really sort of um drew me in was melissa marr and cassandra clare because they are absolutely amazing. The Samara from who wrote Wicked Lovely and Cassandra Clare who wrote City of Bones and the Mortal Instrument series. That's really exciting and it's also like all about vampires and I, I, I don't know why I just love hearing about vampires. I, Teeth is four dollars and forty cents called Shadow of the Moon by Rachel Hawthorne. It's a dark gar guardian novel so there's um I believe there's either four or five books in this series and I don't I don't know if it's finished or not but um I wanted to get into this because um I have the first book um which is called Moonlight and um I actually don't have the second or third book but this was on sale the fourth book was on sale so I decided well why not get it because I'm going to be reading it at some point anyways Shadow of the Moon is four dollars. The next book I have here is called Darkest Mercy by Melissa Marr and this is actually the last book in the series and I've actually read the first three books. I would have finished the whole series but there was only three books out at the time and I knew that there was going to be more. I was sort of a tiny bit upset because I really wanted to get more into the series and now I'm not sure if I want to get too much into the series because um because I really don't want it to end because of what what I've read it it's really really good but at least I know that Melissa Marr is a really good writer. Darkest Mercies four dollars and forty cents. So the next book is called Night Spell by Leah Saipas and um, I actually have um, it's sort of a book and a sequel. The first sort of book is about a shapeshifter I believe. The actual book is called Mistwood. This is sort of like a spin-off type book almost, um, but it's not about the same person. I heard really good things about Mistwood. I'm, this sort of goes with the book. It's I've heard really good things about Mistwood, so since Mistwood sounds so good, maybe Night Spell will be good too. Night Spell is $3.67. And the final book I have here is called Wolfsbane by... Andrea Kremer. This is actually the second book in a series. I think it's called the Nightshade series, but I actually don't own the first book and I haven't read the first book, but I heard that it was really good so I decided to pick this up because this book was on sale so I decided well why not. It's, it's on sale and I know that I'm gonna eventually read this book so let's go for it. Wolf Spain is four dollars and forty cents. So that is really all there is to my whole unboxing haul here. And I guess I'll see you guys later, so 